What's up everybody, this is 2020 Tops Museum Baseball. Six box, half case break number nine. Pick your team sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks everybody for getting in. Almost six out. What's up, John? Uh, stats will be recorded for baseball? Yeah. Yeah, the baseball stats, I kind of feel bad for players like, uh, you know, Miguel Cabrera, even Albert Pujols, kinda, you know. Some of the players that are on their last year or two of their career, um, because, you know, they're wasting a whole year, won't be able to play a full season and maybe get to, like, milestone stats. Although Pujols got to 600, was it? Already, so I don't really think he has a shot at 700, right? So it kind of sucks for them. Like, a player like Mike Trout, obviously, you know. A year uh, in his prime where he could have uh, he's he was on pace to break some records and maybe fell off a little bit on off pace this year but you know in the past there's been strikes you know Ted Williams went to uh, war so I mean it's not the first time it's ever happened all right we'll go one two three left side four five six right side We'll roll the die. Yeah, exactly, Jorge. Yeah, I mean, it's happened. One, two, three, left, four, five, six, right. We'll do the left side. Now the right side will be for break 10, which will be with Jason tomorrow. So let me mark these 10 for him. So everyone knows they're from the same case. But yeah, I mean, hopefully it's just this year of baseball that's affected, you know? Fingers crossed. Alright, good luck everybody. Good thing about this museum baseball, not all current players. You got a nice mix of veteran guys, rookies, stars, legends. Got each row on the cover here. We'll see what we can pull from here. Good luck. This is my uh, first break of museum, so looking forward to it. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Like I said, number 10 in the store now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can pre-order. We also have, uh, I think, one more case of personals on jazbees.com. Teddy's live tonight, and Sean will be live tomorrow there. You think, yeah, fan attendance will be down next year, I'm sure. I'm sure they're not going to be able to sell out, sell all their tickets, you know. That'll probably be a capacity. Unless things drastically change by, uh, by April. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy, Rex. <laughs> they also didn't, they probably didn't know, they probably didn't have, you know, the science and stuff that they, or they didn't know it was going to kill so many people or something. All right, there's Devers. That's a bronze. And all cards ship in this. Babe Ruth, Strasburg. First hit, Sonny Gray. 70-75 for the Cincinnati Reds. That's steep. We 
We got Barry Larkin. Kyle Lewis, he's been a hot rookie for the Seattle Mariners. His cards have been uh, selling well. Reese Hoskins, he, Hideki Matsui. And we got another relic. That's John Lester, one of 50. Who I think I saw, like, there was a picture that came out, him on his boat. I think he had a really funny name for his boat. I forgot what it was called, though. John Lester. It's called, like, the big less like something, the the big lefty or something. It was kind of cool. You know, he had a bunch of girls on there, or his wife or something. I don't know. It's a good photo. John Lester won uh won a few World Series, right? There's Justin Upton, sixty six of one ninety nine triple relic auto for the Angels. That's Dean. Justin Upton's got a cool auto. There's 37 of 99, Chris Sale. Jesus Luzardo. George Springer. And there's a uh, canvas reproduction sketch of Juan Soto. These can be uh, original sketches, which are pretty cool. They're signed by the artist. I've seen a few of them pulled by Jason. And the autograph, 15 to 50, Logan Allen. That's going on to Cleveland. And that's Arthur on the board 15 to 50 yeah I think I think uh, I know he won with Boston John Lester right 20 did you uh, yeah Teddy who's a Red Sox fan says he won in 07 and 13 and then yeah I think he won in 16 with the Cubs I'm pretty sure he was there right the big Les Bowski that would have been kind of cool yeah What's up, club? All right, cutting all the boxes here. Lester's preferred catcher is now the manager of the Cubs. Yeah, uh, Ross. David Ross. Cool, yeah. Ooh, Angels won today. Didn't even see that game. All right, next box. seen any bat barrels or uh, bat knobs pulled by us yet. Hopefully we get one of them in our uh, museum case run. That'd be cool. I feel like that's a ton of the allure. That and the framed autographs, of course. Oh yeah, that's right. Ben Zobris won with... Uh, the Royals in 2015 and then the Cubs in 2016. Is he still on the Cubs, right? He's still on the Cubs, right? Yeah. Uh, to 150, J.D. Martinez. Yadier Molina, Tanaka, Cody Bellinger. First hit, autograph 50 of 299. Very nice, Jordan Alvarez. Archival autographs going out to the Houston Astros. That is Raymond. Nice rookie autograph there. There you go, Ray. There's Arenado, one of 150. Ooh, nice Luis Robert. Rookie and Jack Flaherty. We got the canvas. Ooh, that's a really nice one. Anthony Rendon. Great artwork. Douglas Stromanger. Nice job. And we have 
have an Adbert Alzale, 130 of 299. Rookie on card auto for the Cubs and Eric. Nice, there you go, Ray. Now maybe we can get a cherry on top for the Astros. Yeah, we've hit a few sketch cards. Um, actually, like, on card, you know, actual sketch. There's Trout. There's Anthony Rizzo, 20 of 25 for the Cubs. Back-to-back -back Cubs hits. That's Eric. 20 of 25. McKay. J Ram, Devers, Freeman, and a quad relic for the Blue Jays. 37 of 99. We got Vlad Jr., Kavan Biggio, Bo Bichette, and Luris Guriel Jr. That's John. There you go. 37 of 99. Next box. Yeah, I think the actual sketch cards, not the reproduction ones. I know we had a Vlad Jr. and I think the other one was, I'm trying to remember. I know Vlad Jr. was one. I think the other one was Ozzy Smith doing a backflip, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there you go, Will. Ozzy Smith, yeah. Yeah, that one was a cool one. Third box. Yeah, I think it's in um, either Pick Your Team 1 or 2, I would imagine. Because Jason texted that to me pretty early. Oh, there you go. D-Turk says uh, he got that out. Be nice. Will says first Pick Your Team. Yeah, you'll have to check that video out. It's a cool card. Yeah, a whole set of the reproduction would be cool. I don't think it's a very big set either, I want to say. I forget, though. There's Ortiz, Willie Mays, Jimenez. There's a Lindor, Canvas, reproduction. And the first hit, Alex Young, autograph. Number 299 for Jarrell and the Diamondbacks. Yeah, I'll have to check out Carver Connection. I want to say probably no more than like 30, 40, right? I'm not totally sure, though. I think that's what it's been in the past few years. 550, Lou Gehrig. Bo Bichette, rookie. Ted Williams. Shohei Otani. And Jack Flaherty. Triple Relic Auto, number 199 for the St. Louis Cardinals. That's Sam. On the board. There's Vado, Lou Gehrig, Tony Gwynn, Josh Bell, Max Scherzer, Quad Relic number 99 for the Nationals. That's going to Rick. So 50, it looks like Jorge says. But yeah, I'm not sure how much they go for. I, I'd imagine you could get a set done for what? I guess it's pretty expensive, maybe over a thousand. Figured they all sell for like 10 to 20, maybe. Oh, Ray says three. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. I, I'm not sure the market on those. Uh, to 150, Chipper Jones. Maybe they sell for like 5 to 10. 
Verlander, DeGrom. I know we sleeve them all, so Kershaw. And Sonny Gray, 10 of 35. Reds is Steve. Halfway through, three boxes to go. Super dull. All right, so I got soccer coming up after this break. I don't think anything else is sold out after that. Might be it for me tonight. I got a lot of breaks to post. Um, but Teddy will be live for a while. He's got a big line. I don't know if he's accepting any more entries. You'll have to check with him on Instagram. But he'll be breaking for at least another couple hours. So if you want to watch. He'll be on Instagram. So we'll have some more baseball posted, basketball, football breaks. We do have some pre-orders up in the store, some early ones. Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby. Already some team taken there. No one taking the team in the random teams yet. If you do the math and then look at what um, some of the big retailers is selling it for, we have a pretty good price right now on it um football we have some gold standard posts that we will have some uh, gold standard random teams and more pick your teams as well and then for the top score in baseball we'll have jumbos too um i only got pricing for hobby done so far and there is no checklist for either yet but the checklist does come out You know, you decide to switch a team or refund. Just be sure to be sure to email us at least a day before. Teddy just hit a one on one Joey Vaughn. Alright, there's Mike Trout Bronze. Bias. Machado. There's Eloy Jimenez. Yep. Canvas sketch. Reproduction. And ooh, that's cool. Number 35, Justice Sheffield. Cool patch in there. I don't know what that's from. Uh Joey Votto, not Bautista. Although, I guess you could call Vada Joey Bats, too. He'd be deserving of it. You got here Molina, Bregman, Bench, Syndergaard, Autograph, Kyle Lewis. Nice, for the Mariners. Number 299, Adrian with that one. Joey Walks. Is Joey Votto a Hall of Famer? There's Tanaka. Ricky Henderson, Keston, Jackie. There's a dual bat relic auto, 10 of 50 for the Rangers. Nick Solak, Eric. Nice one there, 10 of 50. Number to 150, Don Mattingly. There's Chris Sale. Pujols, Gavin Lux rookie, and Freddie Freeman quad relic. Is Freddie Freeman a Hall of Famer? I guess he's still got to add some stats. Number 99. If you have to ask, the answer is no. But then what if you ask on like Mike Trout? What if someone asked? But yeah, I get what you're saying. If they're like borderline. I don't know though. I think last year when... Um, 
the Rockies guy got in, I feel like that kind of changed some, some things. Not saying he's, you know, a bad player, but he was kind of like borderline. Larry Walker, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Votto's not that flashy either. And Votto, the problem is, if he played on the Yankees, obviously you could say this for any player, even if he played on, like, you know, the Braves or something. Like, if he played other than Cincinnati, like, I feel like he'd get a ton of more recognition. He also hasn't been, it's, I mean, it's kind of like Trout, but he hasn't been in the playoffs much, right? I can't remember last, when was the last time Cincinnati made kind of a run? Yeah, Harold Baines, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm just using um, Larry Walker as an example because uh, he was on his last ballot, right? I think. Is he the first ever guy on his last ballot to make the Hall of Fame? No. There's some stat like that. Yeah, so it's been a while, right? On uh, the Reds. Yeah, I think, well, Rex, uh, now that uh, Trout has played, um, I forget how many, however many seasons, he's played nine seasons, he's uh, Hall of Fame eligible now. I think, I think he'd be a Hall of Famer. Maybe not first ballot if he retired now, but. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty much a lock. I mean, when was last time a, uh, what, three-time MVP? How many All-Stars says he had? Eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there any three-time MVP, eight-time All-Star not in the Hall of Fame? You know, even if he doesn't, doesn't accrue a ton of stats. There's a keynote to 150. Lou Gehrig, Tony Gwynn. Yeah, maybe... Oh, there's nice uh, Mookie Betts. Dodgers edition. Yeah, maybe if he had a retire... Like, if he retired like Andrew Luck, maybe he wouldn't. Like, if he just retired just to live his life. But, I don't know. It's a good question. I would think yes. There's 6475, Max Scherzer. That's Washington Nationals, Rick. And I mean, you could argue, you could argue that he should have four. The fifth would be borderline, but you could argue he should have four MVPs. No problem, Rick. You gotten a couple of those Scherzers now. Uh, Jackie Robinson, Trey Turner, Bo Bichette. A little white on the corner there. Some of these do have that. Ted Williams. The hit is. The Crime Dog, Fred McGriff. Nice patch in there. 3 of 15. 3 color patch. Nice autograph there. Number to 15. The Crime Dog, Jason R. With the Brave, Fred McGriff. Miggy. There's the guy uh, who won... That one MVP. I don't think you could argue against Miggy's triple crown. I think he deserved that. Obviously. Um, maybe the second Miguel Cabrera. Um, what was it? So 2012. It's actually crazy. So 2013 is when... Miguel Cabrera hit for the Triple Crown, I believe. The year before that, 2012, I want to say Trout... Yeah, Cabrera won. Maybe it was 2012 he hit the Triple Crown. I don't know. The non-Triple Crown year, Miguel Cabrera, you might, you might be able to argue. I think 
on maybe I'm biased. I think he should have won over Josh Donaldson. But Donaldson had a good year. Miguel Cabrera, Shohei Otani, Willie Mays, Eloy Jimenez. There's Logan Webb, auto, number two ninety nine. San Fran is Chris Walker. So I mean he you could say he could could be a like four five time all star. It's crazy. Stanton, Bell, Verlander, the Grum. The hit, dual relic auto number to 299, Lurie's Guriel Jr. for the Blue Jays. That's John McCall. Toronto. Yeah, it's crazy, actually. I mean, this count, um, yeah, 2017, he only played 114 games. So if he plays a full season, you could say he uh, would have won it there too. I mean, obviously you can't say. You know, obviously durability is a factor into MVP voting. Just like Yelich last year. He got hurt the last month or else he probably would have beat out Bellinger. Um, but yeah, I mean, every year, you don't count 2011. He only played 40 games. But... Um, yeah, I mean, he's either come first or second, except for one year. But the problem is, you know, when it comes to, like, if you retire now, people would say, you know, he's never had success in the playoffs. He had just the one playoff series he's played, and they got swept. Which, you know, obviously it's not really his fault. The team around him hasn't been great. But people were still kind of claim that. Yeah, I would think so, too, that Mattingly gets in. Plus, he was a Yankee, I feel like. One of those years that they don't have a strong Hall of Fame class, I feel like sometimes they'll pull the strings to get a, to get a Yankee in there so that, uh, so that some people visit Cooper's town. Maybe that's a conspiracy theory. Yeah, I mean, Mattingly was, was a pretty good manager in L.A., you know. I know Dodgers fans, like, at the end didn't really like him. But Dodgers fans, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, like, it's kind of like the New York coaches where, like, if they don't produce right away, people get impatient. Like Dave Roberts, he's made the World Series, what, three times in a row? And, like, not obviously the small minority of fans, but still. Like, wanted him gone. Although, and then the cheating thing came out. I think that kind of changed it. Alright, last box. Good luck. Rizzo, George Brett, Juan Soto, Carlos Correa. There's a Christian Yelich. Nice patch. Three bats in there. Five of 25. One of the best players in baseball. Scott Pete. there yeah there's Joe Bryce Harper I knew the Dodger talk would get Joe in here <laughs> uh, there's canvas collection Fernando Tatis Jr. and DJ LeMayhew Yankees could say uh, this guy almost I think he almost won the MVP right last year second or third number 199 New York Yankees, TJ. But yeah, I mean, I remember before the cheating scandal came out that there's decent amount of... Obviously, it's the, the vocal minority, they call it. 
but uh, it's you know it's like New York, big media center. Alex Bregman, to ninety nine, Arenado, Martinez, Chipper Jones. There's a dual auto. Wow, three of fifteen for the Phillies. Steve Carlton, Reese Hoskins. On card dual auto to fifteen. That is uh, Ed Ramos with the Phillies. Nice one, Ed. Oh, maybe DJ LeMahieu was the year before. Oh, yeah, LeMahieu was fourth. Yeah. Bregman, Marcus Semien, and then DJ LeMahieu. Nice Steve Carlton, Reese Hoskins, dual auto. And the final box. So it looks like the framed autograph case hit is in the next half. So if you didn't get your team already, I would highly suggest getting it. If you want a shot at that framed autograph, it will be in the next half, which uh, Joe will be break or Jason will be breaking tomorrow. Uh, Fernando Tatis, Sonny Gray, Paul Goldschmidt, Anthony Rendon. There's Cody Ballinger jersey, 21 of 50. So there you go. That was the break. Thanks, everybody. Congrats to those who hit. Uh, Dodgers' last hit is uh, Chris Freeze. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. Like I said, next half's in the store. Um, I might throw some teams in the number block as well. So go grab your teams. Should be a framed autograph. Um, I think it's guaranteed one per case. So check it out. Thanks, everybody.